Hey everybody, Clinton here with Oval Window Racing. Welcome back to the garage. I'm back working on uh, the grease pit here and I've already established uh, somewhat of a uh, deck height reading. I don't know if that's 100% set in stone. I still got to get a uh, CC reading in the heads and that's what we're going to do today. Um, so hold on and set tight. All right, here's the, uh, the kit. So you can get your reading of the uh, CCs. It's just basically a big, large syringe. Uh, my buddy works at the hospital and he wound up getting me this one. I still like the original one. It's just getting hard to read it all. Um, and then they come with these uh, different discs for stock, 94 millimeter bore, and we're dealing with uh, 90, uh, 90, 90 and a half, 92 bore. And the material or the fluid I like to use is just good old windshield water solvent. Some people like to use like transmission fluid or something, but that stuff's really thick, really hard to, to work with. Um, the first thing you have to do is uh, make sure you get valves in there and put a plug in. And what I like to do is uh, I oil the, uh, if you can see it on here, oil the lip edge here and stick it on here and give a twist. All right, pretty simple. Just suck up some juice. Top. Be sure. Squeeze it right down to the line. Now these are in increments of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So if you got heads that are more than 60 cc's, you're going to have to fill up a, a syringe again. It's easier to have the head kind of free. So you got to get air, rid of the air bubbles. Start squeezing in there and fill her up. Hardest part is just chasing these air bubbles around. Get those all out of there. The last one's going to come up. I'm getting some more. Let's take a look here at the reading. And we got 10. So I'm going to say these uh, ports are at uh, 50 cc's. The juice all back out. Move on to the next cylinder. like I may have to do the other one again because this is actually saying that there's 12 12 cc's left so it's making more like 48 cc's So we do this one a little better this time. Hmm. 
Going back down to 10 again. Looks like I got to remeasure the other cylinder. It's possible that maybe they are different, but two cc's, that's a lot. All right, let's try this one more time. I went and cleaned the cylinder wall with some acetone. Screwed the uh, spark plug in a little more. No matter what I do, I still get 50 cc's. Better go back and read the other, do reading on the other one, other side. The compression ratio I'm trying to reach, uh, I'd rather have the 50 cc's versus the 48. All right, see this is the intake. And what I did is I just filled the cylinder back up with uh, the fluid. And I'm just letting it sit here and uh, we actually got a pool of water coming out of the intake. That's telling me that that uh, intake valve is not sealing. Um, I'm going to have to probably take a look at that. It's probably why I am uh, have uh, 50 cc's versus 48 cc's because I'm losing a little bit of fluid. Um, so that's, that needs to be addressed. All right, folks, I went and lapped the valve. Used a little valve compound. Lapped it in there a little bit. And uh, seems to have taken care of the problem. I don't see it leaking anymore. Um, sometimes what happens, uh, I'm not 100% sure if these were... Um, fresh ground valves, but uh, sometimes it'll happen with the uh, certain types of uh, valve grinders or seat seat grinders. Um, they'll leave a little, oh, wait, I spoke too soon. <laughs> there comes a little drip. Yep, I think I'm going to have to send this back and have it re the, the seat reground. Uh, just doesn't seem to want to seal for me. Um, I, I don't have a seat grinder or, or a valve grinder here. Uh, I actually jobbed that stuff out, so Time to give my buddy a call. All right, I checked the other head and there was a leaky valve on there too. So I'm gonna have to give them back to Jeremy so he can take them and have, uh, have them cut again. He's telling me that they were just cut. So uh, maybe they just uh, got a little burr on there. Sometimes those uh, diamond type uh, seat grinders will leave a burr. I didn't see one on the one that I tried to uh, lap in, but uh, you know, things happen. Uh, that's why we uh, check and uh, recheck and check again so uh it's about as far as i can go today um what i'm trying to do is uh get a good cc reading and from what i have right now uh with the deck height that i've got uh we're looking at about nine and a half to one but until next time um take care and be safe Kick it!